Hello. Hello. Lou and Lowe's Travels here. And today we are... Well, we're going to be following this book today. We're just going to be doing um, the Thor's... Walking up to Thor's cave and then coming back. Yeah, so <laughs> it's supposed to be good views up there as well. So, uh, yeah, let's go and take a look and see what it's like. So, luckily, where we are today, Wetton Car Park... It is actually free car parking, so that's good. And also over this side, you've got some toilets as well, even better. So we're gonna be heading up that clearly defined path in front of us up to the gate and there is Source Cave just in the distance. Just look at that view. Right, so we're here stood outside of Thor's cave. I've just been inside, it's extremely slippy. I've had to come down on my bum, so my trousers are in a bit of a state, but yes, yeah, probably gorgeous on a sunny day. What do you think, though? Yeah, it's, it is slippy. I mean, I haven't been in. I don't think I'll bother going in. I, I can just admire it from out here. If it was a drier day, yeah, I'd probably go, but... I don't know if I should risk it. I'm not the best climber. I'm not the most confident climber, so. Yeah, and I've just got no fear, which is no. either a, a curse or a good thing, I don't know. <laughs> but no, we made it. We've actually come somewhere, so. And we finally saw Thor's cave, which we've been talking about for a while, haven't we? Yeah. So, but yeah, it's, it's, too, it's too wet to be fully safe today. That's why I went. <laughs> So the main entrance to Thor's cave is 30 foot dash 10 metres high and is set into the bare rock high above the river below. So we initially came down that path from the fields but the book is advising that we go down these stone steps. meaning hills, and some people think it comes from Thor, the Norse god of thunder. The rocks are limestones formed from layers of dead marine animals between 280 to 360 million years ago. During this time, the area where Thor's cave now stands was south of the equator and was submerged under warm, shallow sea. The hillside would have been a reef similar to those found in top tropical seas. So the walk did suggest going over some more woodland and into two fields. 
but because it's quite wet today and boggy and also we don't know if there's going to be loads of cows in the field we're just following this straight path we did bump into a couple of people not long ago and they said that this is the path back to Wetton so it's a bit of a walk but I think sometimes it's best to be safe than sorry isn't it but there's still nice views around here though perfect views of Thor's cave and the path that we originally took down that lane. just finished our walk to Thor's cave and back and it was uh, really interesting Thor's mm. cave wasn't it yeah definitely I mean I was the uh, crazy person with a bad leg who went inside of it I can't <laughs> believe that it was slipping down to come back out oh it was it was mad no I I um I slid yeah elegantly tactically into a route yeah. yeah but no it was interesting if you're ever around this neck of the woods be sure to check it out um, we have heard that it does get quite busy on the weekend for mm. cave so you know it's if you can it's better to go in the week or, or early yeah and I think the book that we followed um, it was a small very small looped walk and as we say we um, at the at the bottom of the valley instead of going up the fields we thought we'd stick to the main lane and as that gradually ascended through the valley we got some really good views of Thor's cave once again yeah yeah we did uh, and Wetton's a nice little place yeah, isn't it yeah it's a really nice yeah. place it's free car parking yeah toilets nice little free cottages car yeah. <laughs> yeah right so this is the last night in Longner the last night in this cottage and then we're off home yeah so even though it's a different side of the peak district it's actually staffordshire mm. it's still really nice and the good thing about being based where we are is that it was didn't take us long to get to the places like dovedale and force cave places mm. like that it's all pretty pretty near it's pretty close yeah but yeah um would we come here again i would yeah definitely yeah. now I, at first i was a bit um like a duck out of water, well, fish out of water, whatever you say. Um, but then I got used to it. I got used to the area and I saw everything linked up mm. and how to get to places. And yeah, by this time, I mean, it's a beautiful side. Yeah, no, it really is. And if you if you are ever in the Peak District, we'd recommend coming down here. Uh, the roads are a bit narrow and windy, aren't they, though? Yeah. So just uh, just watch out for that. But yeah. The only unfortunate thing I'd say about this holiday would be just the fact that it's 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 rained quite a bit mm. this week. I think the the only sort of clear nice day that we had was when we went to Dovedale. Um, Last kill. Yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, the rain has stopped us from going to some places. Yeah, we was unable to do the Manifold Valley because it was just torrential rain. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, we didn't we didn't bother with that. But we can always do that, you know, at a weekend, you know, we can always drive up for, it's not far from where we are. No, so. no, no, we're definitely gonna be coming back for uh for day trips, definitely. Yeah, um, and who knows, even group walks. <laughs> yeah, because we still want to do the Manifold Valley, we want to do um Beresford Dale and Wolfcote Dale, Hartington Tisington Tisington, yeah. Um 
Yes, we've still, got, we've still got a few to tick off our list, definitely. Yeah, but we hope that you've enjoyed the uh, the videos that we have captured for you, um, just showing some of the highlights of where we've been. Mm. And, uh, yeah, that comes to the end of this Week in the Peaks series 2021. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, but, yeah, stay safe, keep walking, and stay tuned for some of the best bits coming up now. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right. I wanna get high on Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know it in the big girl. What is it? Like a very small tired. dog. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that compared to the cat. It's tiny. Yeah, but it's confident. Yeah.